Steelers earlier in the season were looking so great. They were firing on all cylinders defensively and it looked like nothing could go wrong and then everything did with injuries. But I want to look closer at not just the injuries but the coaches on why we lost because we can blame injuries all we want but realistically that's going to happen every year to the Steelers. Now I don't hate Mike Tomlin or Keith Butler. This is just what I saw from them. Now I will give the coaches credit where credit is due. They did cook up some good blitz packages with Mike Hilton and other various players but me personally I felt as if they really didn't switch it up that much so it kind of got predictable later in the year because as you see with all these clips it was working for the first half it really was but everything in the NFL and I mean everything will eventually get figured out and Mike Hilton's blitzes were absolutely no different as we see here week 17 leading up to that wild card game he tried to do it again but the Browns were completely prepared for it this time and they had no worries about Mike Hilton blitzing whatsoever and this actually happened a lot in the wild card game and I was not mad at all about Mike Hilton's blitzes not working in week 17 I was just like okay it's only week 17 you know we're not actually going to do this in the wild card game because we're going to have a different game plan but the thing is we went to it constantly in the wild card game for no reason whatsoever because it didn't work the first time and it's not going to work the second time so the Browns actually took advantage of that and right here before you even get into that why is the Alex Highsmith lined up on Jarvis Juice Landry I do not know but as far as I know Alex Highsmith as much as I love him is not a lockdown cornerback the whole thing with that is you're really setting up your players to fail because that's their worst trait which is pass coverage as we saw with TJ Watt and CD Lamb even though they can't do it yes they can't do it but you're gonna put them in a bad position if you do because again that's just not what they do especially not against Juice Landry you know that's just a recipe for disaster now let's get into the blitzes of Mike Hilton during that playoff game that absolutely did not work at all and just allowed dump downs out of the backfield to go for 20 plus yards again as we see right there that's never gonna work out and the thing I have with this is you're losing an extra man on this play and every time they would run this little blitz package with Mike Hilton they would just dump it down to their running backs the moment Baker Mayfield saw it and you know I don't have anything against Mike Tomlin or Keith Butler or anything like that I just don't think their plan was sustainable at all as we see here this is a man coverage and Hilton is basically gonna blitz from that outside linebacker spot but Kareem Hunt is just gonna get it out of the flat and that's an easy 13 yards with another first down for them while Spillane is supposed to cover Kareem Hunt on this play and is a little bit slow to it it's still not the greatest position for your players to be in. I'd much rather have Spillane be the blitzer and Mike Hilton doing the coverage duties, which he's supposed to, and picking up Kareem Hunt out of the flat. But right here, it's just more of the same. It's Mike Hilton coming on a blitz that's super risky, and it does not pay off at all. I mean, this is just a super, super difficult task for Mike Hilton to travel from the opposite side of where they're going and make a tackle on Kareem Hunt. And of course, he does not do it. That would be a really, really big task for him to carry out. Again, we just had the inability to adapt because while these worked earlier in the year, well, not so much at that later end. And I get what Tomlin was trying to do. He was trying to bring extra pressure because he had the absence of Devin Bush, Bud Dupree, and other key players but he just didn't do it in the right way. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about Tomlin and Keith Butler and the Seedlers in general, and that is it for me on this one. Peace.